This is going to be a how to a digital MDM works video. Um, make sure your scavenger's all hooked up. You've got a sterile nasal hood that's on there. We're ready to go. Everything's pretty much lined up, ready to go. You want to prep your machine before your patient comes into the room. Everything's good. Um, once that's done, your patient comes into the room. You can actually sit him down into a chair, introduce yourself, and do, do your regular routine. The nitrous oxide unit, you, you power up after that. Because once you power up the nitrous oxide unit, it starts to flow 100% oxygen at 5 liters a minute. This is when you put the unit on the patient's face. Okay, when putting this on the patient's face, you're going to slide it up on the patient like this, run these tubes in back of the headrest of the chair, and just tighten that up like this. And that's how you're going to hold that on the patient's face. Now, you got to make sure your nasal hood is not oversized. We have three sizes, small, well, pedo, medium, and large. And we do also have these nasal hoods in um, disposable scented flavors. Okay, so once you set this up on your patient, your next step, now I'm going to remove this so we get a better view of the unit. Your next step would be to actually set your flow rate. we got to introduce the nitrous for X amount of time, depending on what you were trained. But once you're introducing your nitrous unit, your, nit uh, your oxygen to your, um, your patient, you will start seeing some activity here with your breathing bag. Now what you want to do is mimic the patient's lungs. Okay. If you see that balloon, your breathing bag collapsing like that, you would have to increase your flow rate. And what's important is we get this flow rate set up. Once we establish a good flow rate for your patient, let's say your patient's flowing at seven liters a minute. Once you establish a good replication of the the patient's lungs with your breathing bag we know that we're going to be running at a seven liter a minute uh, breathing now once this is done you're going to be running this for the extra amount of time that you need as required you're going to start decreasing the percentage we're going to start decreasing the percentage of nitrous oxide okay and as we're decreasing it the nitrous and the the oxygen actually compensate. It's going to maintain its seven liter a minute, but as we decrease, you will see it'll always maintain that seven liter flow. So it's seventy five percent, twenty five percent is going to be nitrous, seventy five percent twenty five percent nitrous oxide, seventy five percent oxygen. Now, if you can see, we have a nice little graph here showing you, indicating you the basically basically the um, the volumes there you'll see that oxygen is much lower but if I bring this down to 50% so if I'm running 50% oxygen that means I'm 3.5 liters nitrous 3.5 liters of oxygen both of these bars are basically going to equal themselves out okay so once this is set up what could happen is you got to keep in mind as you're titrating them in to your percentages all right you're basically always one step behind Reason being is because of this breathing bag. We're actually mixing the gases into this breathing bag, and the patient is breathing from this bag. So if we bring them up to 70%, well, guess what? The effects that we're going to see on the patient are most probably going to be at 65%, depending on. That's where the communication between doctor and patient is, um, is important. Um, if you see the patient, if, you know, it's pretty much okay, and you bring them up that extra 5%, and you see them going off a little bit, talk to them a little bit more. You might have to back it off 5%. Okay, the machine's set the titrate at 5%. It's kind of important, this little feature. And you got to remember that you're pretty much always one step ahead of the patient when titrating into nitrous oxide. And another thing, too, is once you get that local anesthetic in, yeah, that patient's really, really nervous. He's just huffing and puffing away on this nitrous oxide and oxygen. But once you get that local anesthetic in, very possible that this bag is going to start blowing up on you because the patient is basically going into his relaxed state it's not breathing as heavy, so you might even have to back down on this flow rate. So, you know, you might have to back that up to try to get back to, to normal on your breathing bag. And that's that's as simple as it. I mean, if you, for charting reasons, if you want to see at 65% oxygen and 35% nitrous, 
6.2 liter a minute flow rate, you can actually see your ratios, right? By clicking on O2, you got four liters, and nitrous, you got 2.2 liters. By clicking those two buttons, that's what these are here. O2, nitrous. O2, nitrous. Now, that's kind of important when you're doing your charting, if you want to see what you're, you set your patient up. But again, once you do you do your charting, you got to keep in mind that these numbers are pretty much lower and stable numbers. But when you start to state a patient, it's possible that you're going to be bringing them up a little bit higher on your flow rates and your nitrous rates to bring them back down and stabilize them here. All right. Now, if there's anything that happens during a procedure and you have to give them, you got to assure your patient that you're going to make them feel better really quick by giving them 100% oxygen. To do so, we have a O2 flush button that's here. This is where you would just push this and now you're just blowing oxygen right down into that nasal hood and definitely you're going to start feeling better a lot faster than removing the nasal hood from the patient. So it's very, very highly recommended to keep that nasal hood on and do your O2 flush and hold that button in. As long as you hold that button in, you're just flowing oxygen right down into the to the patient. All right, so that's basically how this works. Now let's do an air. Let's do um, a failure on nitrous. If ever you run out of nitrous oxide, all right, what's going to happen is we're going to get an alarm, and we're going to close up the nitrous oxide. All right. Nitrous oxide is closed, and we've got to keep in mind now there's a lot of pressure in this block, so we're going to wait for this block to empty out because it's running into this block coming out of the regulator and into here. And what's going to happen is our nitrous oxide is going to actually die off. Then we're going to get an alarm. When the nitrous dies off, the oxygen will continue flowing, but we lost 2.2 liters. So this 6.2 liters is now down to 4 something. So what's really important when that goes off to open up the other tank. There's our failure. Our O2 is continuing the flow. If you do not have another tank, increase this or take it off the patient. But in most cases, you would just open up your second nitrous oxide tank and the air will clear itself. Now what's really important after that, and I keep stressing this, go to your tag, rip off your tags, and then it'll indicate that the tank is empty. Very important. All right, now you're running off the other tank, rip off the tag, and it's gonna say that that tank's in use now. All right, very important. The oxygen is a little bit different. If we shut down the oxygen, well, the alarm will not be able to be cleared, and the machine will stop flowing the nitrous oxide. So the patient is gone from 6.2 to zero. So it's important to switch on that other oxygen. Once you get that other oxygen tank on, it'll clear the air like we, what you just saw, and it'll actually come back and start flowing to 6.2 liters a minute. I mean, we have a little bit of time with this breathing bag, but not very much. So you have to get that done pretty quick. So don't lose your key. Make sure your key is with your unit at all times. Here's your key. We have it tied, comes with a nice chain. We have your key hanging back down there. And um, that's how uh, Digital MDM works for Matrix, pretty easy. We have the auto compensation feature built right into this unit. so. As you bring down your your oxygen percentage, your flow rates resta restain the same. You'll continue maintaining your flow rate at 6.2 liters a minute. Right now we're at a 60-40 ratio. <coughs> and the maximum is 70-30, like every other unit on the market that's the standard. We won't allow uh, anything more than 30% oxygen to be flown to the, uh, given to the patient. All right. Thank you for watching.